Hi and welcome to week 21 of economics. So this week we'll be going through the intricacies of economic measurement, the role of savings and investments in fostering growth, the nuances of unemployment types, the costs and benefits of U.S. economic policies towards full employment, and the economic effects of fluctuating prices. So we'll begin, <clears throat> excuse me, we'll begin with understanding how economic growth is measured. GDP is a primary metric representing the total value of all goods and services produced in an economy. Whether calculated through the production approach, income approach, or exponential approach, GDP provides insight into the overall health and direction of economic growth. Examining factors like real GDP, nominal GDP, and GDP per capita allows economists to assess not just the size, but also the quality of economic growth. So transitioning to the driving forces behind economic growth, we'll analyze how savings and investments play a crucial role. Savings act as a reservoir of capital, and investments channel these savings into productive ventures, such as infrastructure, technology, and education. A healthy balance between savings and investments pr promotes capital formation, leading to increased productivity, job creation, and ultimately sustained economic growth. We'll then be shifting gears and exploring the various forms of unemployment. So frictional unemployment results from people transitioning between jobs. Seasonal unemployment occurs due to seasonal fluctuations in demand. Structural unemployment stems from shifts in the economy structure. And finally, cyclical unemployment is tied to economic downturns. Recognizing these types helps policymakers tailor interventions to address specific causes, fostering a more resilient and adaptable workforce. Then we'll dive into the U.S. economic policies related to the goal of full employment. So striving for full employment is a key objective. Balancing the costs and benefits of policy decisions is crucial. While achieving full employment can spur economic growth and social stability, policymakers must also navigate potential drawbacks like inflation and wage pressures. The real challenge lies in formulating policies that strike a harmonious balance between employment goals and macroeconomic stability. Lastly, we'll explore the economic repercussions of price fluctuations. Rising prices or inflation can erode purchasing power and destabilize the economy. On the flip side, Failing prices or deflation may seem beneficial for, for consumers, but can lead to reduced spending, lower investment, and economic stagnation. Policymakers must carefully manage these dynamics to maintain a stable and a healthy economic environment. So, as we conclude, let me wrap up by saying that we'll be looking at ways of measuring economic growth and then following up with the role of saving and investing in spurring an economy. We're going to look at uh, the definitions and examples of the four unemployment types. We'll be evaluating policies for full employment and grappling with the effects of changing prices. So we know that economics is a dynamic field that shapes our daily lives and that many factors contribute to change. So I want to thank you all, and I look forward to working with you this week. Thank you.